Okay, guys. <clears throat> I had went ahead and made up my uh, epoxy surface coat, and I put one coat on here with a uh, cut brush. And what I mean by um, a cut brush is I had taken an acid brush and I cut the bristles in half. That way, the epoxy spreads on it pretty easy and you do want to do that in uh, one direction and with this uh, one coat coat on the uh, <coughs> surface here what you want to do is you want to let this come to a, a attack state where you can touch it with your glove and it 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 won't bond to your um, it'll be a little tacky but it won't bond to your glove and then at that point we want to run one more coat and it's going to create that's what's going to create the uh, real slick um, white surface on our mold and that's what you want <clears throat> at that point when that when that sets up and it, it comes to the same state as your first coat to where you can touch it with your glove and it it doesn't it it doesn't bond to it but it is still a little tacky then it's ready to start laying up the uh, fiberglass on it and at that point I'll make some more video and get that on but uh, we're we're at a point here to we're rocking we're uh, casting the plug and we'll be making these things real soon. And you can see is we're going to have a four inch phalange on. the mold so it's gonna be really cool after we lay up uh, two plies of the uh, 10 ounce cloth I'm gonna make up some tooling dough, dough and build it up a, a half inch thick that way it's gonna it's gonna go a lot quicker and it's gonna minimize the uh, process instead of laying up like 12 layers of cloth and then waiting to lay up 12 more than then waiting a day to lay up 12 more we'll just uh, we'll do a half inch of tooling dough and then on top of that we'll do a couple more layers of cloth and we'll have the build up thickness that we need to make a strong uh, mold Until uh, this next video, we'll see you then.